Shalom Israel, this is Sister Kana, and first and foremost, I have to give all glory and praise to Ahaya Asher Ahaya, Bahashim Yishaya, Wak Wadash Wak. Okay guys, here I am, I'm at the office, this is actually my second day here in my office, and at I told you entertainment, I told you travel and Hebrewism. So, um, I have a lot of stuff to do today, but I did want to quickly vlog because I told you guys I was going to start, you know, trying to do an everyday vlog. Now, I didn't go live because I wanted to just do it live, but they told me on my I Told You Travel uh, YouTube page that I had to wait 24 hours. So, I'll just videotape like this today, and then tomorrow, hopefully, I can start going live. But... Okay, so I have a lot of things to do, guys, a lot of stuff. So I'm trying to um, just, you know, put everything in perspective with my, for my day to day. So I wrote a few things down. I didn't even get, um, uh, I, I, like, a lot of things that I need to do because there's a lot. And I have a very important phone call, so I will be leaving here about um, 5 p.m. today. Now, let me just tell y'all, because of Ramadan, this is the month of Ramadan, so they do fasting. So the offices don't open until 11. So right now, it's about almost, it's 2 o'clock after 2. So I got here maybe about an hour ago. Got here about 1. But um, normally, I like to start my day early. But because of, you know, Ramadan, this rest of the month, you know, the office won't open until 11. And it closes at like 6 because they eat, they have their prayer time and everything, so they eat. So this, the office won't open back up after um, six. But normally it will stay open until like eight or nine, and I will be working um, in my office until that time. Okay, and I just will try to give you guys sneak um, previews or sneak peeks of like what my day is like. But I just, this is really all about showing you Israelites, you know, that we can thrive outside of America, don't be afraid, don't let anybody tell you, oh, you know, they're abducting people in uh, Jordan and things like that, you know, madness like that. So I'm glad that the Most High has blessed me with this opportunity to, um, you know, start working on my businesses, doing international business, global business. I am so excited. So... And it's all really, you know, for us to thrive here and prepare and get ready for what is happening before the whole thing shuts down. Okay? So all my things to do. Now, for I told you entertainment, you know, I know it's best to probably work at one project at a time, and I'm all for that. But because of the times that we're in and the way things are going on, I really kind of, um, you know, kind of got to push and do several things. I got to multitask with multiple businesses. So I'm focusing right now on I told you entertainment. There is a, a several festivals that come to Jordan, to Egypt, and maybe Dubai and Qatar and you know these areas. And I would like to help book artists to come and be a part of these festivals. Now there will be um, paid engagements you know, these particular venues for the festivals, but also, I'm also looking for artists to come over who are ready to do their own tours. So that situation is going to be a different situation where artists who are looking to expand their horizons and go out on tour, build their fan bases, you know, generate money, sell their merch, and things like that, that's going to be one option. And then this other option that I'm working on right now is for festivals, for just artists to come over and get paid for like one or two shows, and then, you know, they go back on their way. So that's what I'm, I, I told you entertainment is looking to do for this moment. I'm looking for artists to fill slots for festivals and um, musical, you know, um, and things that are about to happen here. And so, you know, that's my project. Um, that's, so that's actually two projects. So I'm very excited. And I'm also, you know, will try to be a part of this project as well as an artist. I will also, you know, try to um, perform as well. So, 
I will start looking for these artists and I will start making ads and also making flyers and things like that to get artists to come who are interested. Now, I'm not just looking for just any artist. It can't be just somebody who just want to, you know, learn how to sing and just, it has to be professional. They have a, um, either a band, a two, three, four piece band, nothing too big because, you know, they're not paying like for a full bad band. Although eventually we're going to get to some major concerts as well, which I'm very excited about. But for right now, this is going to be like a two, three, maybe four piece bands who can come, pick up, go, and we will see what they will charge and if they can get accepted. So that's um, awesome. So that's what I'm going to do first is I want to make um, some flyers for that. Um, so that's one thing I have to do. That's on my to-do list. So I, I'm going to um, check that out. Another thing is I want to show you what I have to do uh, for um, um, Hebrewism. I just want to show you some things. So give me a quick second. Okay, guys. So here I am. This is a, a, a little smaller desk. And pretty soon, eventually, I will have to, I want to get an assistant, someone who can help me, you know, organize things and put things together. There's a lot of little things that I have to do. So, um, you know, I maybe get someone to help me with those kind of tasks. But I just wanted to show you, like, this suitcase I have brought with me. Because this is some of the things that I have to do. Recently, I purchased more linen, as you can see, like, now I'm even wearing one of my... Uh, dresses that I sell, um, a higher, and um, and this is purple, and I have all colors now. But I I went and purchased some more linen. These are hundred percent linen. It's pretty uh, thick, so I got different colors that I'll be making different. Um, you know, mainly dresses like this in different colors. You know, I have the blue, um, I have red, I have uh, brown. I have black and um, the purple. So now I found this yellow, which is really nice. So, and here is a brown. I didn't necessarily like this color brown. I wanted more like a chocolate. But this is good. But this is all 100% linen. Now, you know, these guys, this um, linen is very uh, strong, sturdy, and heavy. And for the winter, it, for the summer, it's probably a little bit um, thick, you know. But I still like it. Here's also a blue that I got. But I, this is not like, if you can see this, a dark navy blue. So I would like to find another navy blue. This is all I really could find. But um, So this is for, I told you, I mean, this is for um, Hebrewism. And I also want to show you, so y'all see this um, bag, the Judah Lions bag. But what you probably don't know is that this bag is made of linen. This is a, this is a linen bag in which I hand painted on the Judah Lions one. So I know I don't really know if you if, uh, guys noticed. You may have saw me advertising this on my Hebrewism channel and, and my Etsy channel. But this is a hundred percent linen bag hand painted. And so I love this bag, and I'll be utilizing this. But I also have it on sale at my website. Okay, so inside also I have the the small Judah lioness bag, and these are so cute and dainty. And these are also a hundred percent linen. But inside I have this um, material that blocks the internet rays. And I think it's like maybe like if two years ago I did a video showing you how you can block off your internet um, signal if you have um, this kind of cloth. So if you see inside the cloth, this cloth um, really cuts off your internet um, signal so that you can put your bag your phone, cell phones in the bag. I this one isn't. I didn't make this one, but I can make it. This is just a regular um, linen uh, bag with the satin, and it has a pocket in here as well, so that you can see, you know. But um, these are all linen, okay. And then I hand painted one. And this one, these are more expensive because this uh, blocks off the internet, and this material is very expensive. Okay, so, and also the same thing for the phone case as well, a Judah uh, Lioness, and uh, as well it has the same thing where it cuts off 
any signal for um, the cell phone. So, and they're very, you know, dainty, they're very feminine, and I love them. You know, and I will start utilizing them more. This one has a flat that kind of covers everything. But this is a clutch. It also has a pocket inside that you can put your, um, you know, cell phone or whatever you want to put in. And you can put the cell phone with inside the little pouch as well. So I just want to let you know, guys, that these are all 100% linen, made, quality linen, and it's very durable, okay? So um, that's another thing. And here I have um, different kinds of linen, like, like I, got, I found a nice pink. So I'm going to make um, um, some nice dresses for the summer. So, and I'm going to take you over to where I have a little spot where I will be, um, you know, making my dresses and things like that. So, it's a lot of stuff here. It's also the white linen that I usually use. Um, very sturdy. Um, this one isn't softened, so it's kind of hard. But it's very sturdy, 100% linen. And... Um, Thick, and I buy I, I buy a lot of this linen, and that's what actually I made the the bags out of. I made a bag the bags. This bag is the same material as this. Okay. Also, I have in here. Now here's a lighter. No, this is not. This is more like a cotton, and I'll be making some summer dresses, 100% cotton, uh, as well as a lighter linen. This is a lighter linen that I have. So, I just wanted to show you, like, this, the day-to-day -day of the things that I'll be working on for the different companies. I have, um, again, Hebrewism. I have, I need to put you here. Oh, here's a, a, another color blue, but I don't have a lot. This is just a scratch of what I had. This is also the same heavy linen. Okay? And, um, you know, I will be making um, just some little things with this. I don't know yet. And I also have black. I have a black linen as well. So maybe a jacket or a nice skirt. But um, all these things, um, you know, the materials that I bought for Hebrewism that I will be concentrating on making more merch. A merchandise for the website and things like that. And I have this blue and I have another uh, black. Okay, so I have some blue and I have some black. So these, I only have a little piece of the blue, but I'm going to get some more. So I just wanted to show you like my day to day and I'm going to take you with me because I have to do a few things and I have a very important phone call at five. So I got to finish everything so that I can make it back for my phone call, okay? So, um, this is all for I told you entertainment and I told, um, Hebrewism. It's what I will be concentrating on today. And I also told you guys I have to run, I have to run, make a, um, uh, I have to make a, a run, Run. I have to make a run downtown, and I'm going to take you guys with me because I'm going to get um, maybe two more mannequins that I use to put my dresses on when I'm sewing, because I have two and I need some more, so that I can, um, you know, see what the clothes are looking like and things like that. So, this is part of the process, guys, of... You know, um, having your own businesses, doing international, just, you know, that's what this is all about. Just showing you guys, like, everyday life is going on just outside of Babylon. We can make it. Okay? Okay, so. Let me put this here. All right. Okay, so I give all glory and praise to Ahaya Shohaya, and I will, you know, let you come back in when I, you know, get out and about and take care of a few things. Okay? Shalom.